One boy patrols near some concrete pipes. One girl likes to do her patrols in public areas with lots of people. One boy spends most of his time checking out the shops. One girl loves to be fussed over by folks at the community center. One boy likes to stand guard at the town gate. And don't forget, they all wear homemade swords on their backs. Thanks again for agreeing to help you guys. Lovely, don't you think? Great job. It's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Maybe I should... Super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Molia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But, don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Hey there, how goes the patrol? Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! Where are you going? It's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Ms. Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Hey! You gotta be that bird! You know, buddy! My very first 
One boy spends most of his time checking out the shops. And don't forget, they all wear homemade swords on their backs. Thanks again for agreeing to help you guys. Patrol. I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. They crossed the line. Eric is such a lame. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money. The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job. Leave this to me. I don't think so. 
Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well... Then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. 
Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I heard he was looking for some help. He doesn't see me. Be quiet. Well, hey, what do you think? Do, do I have what it takes? Oh, hey Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you.
do that before! See? Pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? Wanna play some Whack-A-Box? Only one way to become a whack a box master. Whack, whack, whack. Welcome to the Moogle Emporium. Leaving already? Ah. 
Mm. And now, the weather report. 